One of the weird things about magnetic fields is that you don't need a permanent magnet. Electric currents always have tiny magnetic fields around them, which we can use. Now, in this example here, there is a wire, just a straight wire with a current flowing upwards. Now, around the edge of the wire, even though you might not be able to see it, there are these small magnetic fields formed in a circular pattern around the wire. Now, we can figure out the direction of these fields by using the right hand rule. Stick up your thumb and your fingers around it like a thumbs up. Your fingers form the shape of the magnetic field around the wire. If I were to flip the direction of current so it went downwards, the magnetic field would flip. So your fingers will be pointing in the opposite direction, so the field would go in the reverse. Now, if I was to try and find these uh, field lines, I could use iron filings to see the circular pattern on a piece of card. I could also use compasses, same as for regular magnetic fields. If I wanted to make this field even stronger, I can curl the wire up into a coil, which has a very special name called a solenoid, which is nothing to be afraid of. It's just a coil of wire with some current flowing around it, uh, like the diagram shows here. Now, when you're to, going to look at the magnetic field around this coil of wire, it forms a very similar shape to a bar magnet. So if you remember a bar magnet, it's strongest at the ends, so there's more field lines in a smaller area at the ends, and then it loops around from one end to the other, um, just like a bar magnet would do. A bar magnet doesn't have them going through the center, so technically these field lines should go through the center as well. I haven't drawn that on here. Um, but as well as a bar magnet, it has a north and a south pole. Now, how would you know which end is which? If you were looking at one of the ends side on, you'd see that the coil of wire, if it's 3D, is either going to be going in clockwise direction or it's going to go in anti-clockwise like so. Now, there's a good way of remembering which way is going to be north, which way is going to be south, and that's because if you were to put little arrows on the end of an S, you see they go in the same way as a clockwise direction, whereas anti-clockwise is a north pole. If you twist the ends a little bit, it kind of looks like it's going in the anti-clockwise direction. So that's how you know which is which. It is hard to tell with diagrams like this, but I've gone with that direction for now. If I wanted to make the field even stronger, I can make the solenoid into an electromagnet. Now an electromagnet is exactly the same as a solenoid, but you add an iron core to the center. This is the experiment you probably have done in school. Um, if you add an iron nail and wrap wire around it, it makes it an electromagnet, which is, like I said, even stronger than a solenoid because iron is magnetic, so it contributes to the magnetic field. Now with all these magnetic fields, you can increase the strength by doing a couple of things. So to increase the strength of the magnetic fields caused by electric currents, you could either increase the strength of the current, so increase the current flowing. You could also say PD, but it's the current that's going around the wire, so we say current here, and increase the number of turns. Be careful you don't say number of coils, because there is one coil, you could have more of them, but on this solenoid, if you wrap it tighter, have more turns, you increase the field strength. Now, why do we bother with these types of magnetic fields? Well, they have some big advantages. Main one being they can be switched on and off very easily, which is obviously useful and can't be said of permanent magnets. So if you're in a scrapyard trying to pick up cars or magnetic materials, you want to be able to um, pick them up and put, dump them down. That's useful for this. You also have um, relay circuits, um, just like in a starter motor for a car, and circuit breakers. It's